Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for your patience. I am Councilmember Carlina Rivera, Chair of the Committee on Hospitals. Thank you all for being here today. Today, the committee will vote on resolution number 746, sponsored by Councilmember Levin and myself, which calls on the New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign legislation requiring the New York State Department of Health to create clear and fair regulations for hospitals on drug testing those who are pregnant or giving birth, including informing patients of their rights before any discussion of drug use or drug testing. While we know that there is no data suggesting that marijuana use is safe during pregnancy, studies have shown that low-income pregnant people and pregnant people who are black and Latinx are disproportionately tested for drug use. A study from 2007 found that women who are black and their newborns were 1.5 times more likely to be tested than non-black women. Not only are these women more likely to be tested, they are also more likely to be reported to child welfare services. Currently, it is unclear how hospitals determine when drug testing is necessary. Health and Hospitals corporate policy, which is not available to the public, outlines risk indicators and criteria for screening and testing at-risk pregnant women and newborns for alcohol abuse and exposure to other drugs during pregnancy. Risk indicators include minimal or no prenatal care, a history of substance abuse or treatment within the previous three months, placental abruption and severe mood swings. This type of discretion allows race, class, and other factors to play a hand in hospital drug testing. We need clear, fair, and transparent regulations in order to keep everyone, especially families and children, safe. We must ensure that drug testing is an equitable process. The New York State Legislature should pass legislation requiring the New York State Department of Health to create clear and fair regulations for hospitals on drug testing, and we should make sure that patients are informed of their rights before any discussion of drug use or drug testing. And so with that, I'm actually going to call the roll for a vote. Uh, council member, you're going to call it, actually. <laughs> but I support you. <laughs> William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on hospitals, resolution 746, Chair Rivera. Aye. Eugene. Aye. Levine. Aye. Reynoso. Very proudly vote aye. Moya. Aye. I vote a five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Item has been adopted by the committee. Uh, and with that, I thank you all for being here, and we're adjourning this committee meeting.